Hey everybody, Chris Gethin here. Now I'm going to explain to you about the five muscle building foods that you should be eating to build muscle. Now when you're building muscle, I want you to put on lean muscle tissue. So many people talk to me about bulking and dirty bulking and they're going to the burger joints and eating pizzas, trying to pack in the calories. And I just think that's terrible advice to be honest with you because that's pro-inflammatory. The calories that you eat give you information and the information is probably harming you more than healing you. I want to, when I go through my muscle building uh, phases, I want to do it in a healthy manner that my future self is going to thank me for. These kinds of meals will thank you for that. Thank you very much. All right, starting off here, number one, what I like to do a lot of the time if I'm not in a keto phase or anything like that, I wake up and I'll have one scoop of Cage Muscle Micro Pure Isolate with about a cup of uh, oats, but it doesn't matter about the amounts at the moment of the carbohydrates. That's gonna be specific to you. Now, the reasons why I have these is because the Micro Pure Isolate is a very fast assimilating protein, which I'll need first thing in the morning. It has a pro hydrolyzed enzyme that breaks that peptide down to get absorbed very easily. Now, I personally love milk, but I don't drink milk. I don't want the lactose. I, I, I don't want the fat in it. Uh, so I have the vanilla flavored isolate myself in with the oats. So it's like I'm having milk with my oats. Sometimes I'll put a little bit of stevia on there, some fruits, so I have some antioxidants, which are usually made up of like berries or cranberries, blueberries, strawberries. You know, it's low in sugar, but high in antioxidants. So that's meal one, okay? Meal two, wild caught fish. So this could be wild caught uh, Alaskan salmon. Do not go for farm fish if possible. Of course it's gonna be cheaper, it's better for your budget, but it isn't necessarily gonna be better for you because it can be higher in omega-6s as opposed to the essential omega-3s that we want. We don't wanna go pro-inflammatory, we wanna be anti, and we would wanna be anti-inflammatory. And you're gonna have very good benefits from this type of fish because it's nice and light as well. So I generally like to have a fish meal before and after my workouts, not right bookend in it, that's when I take my supplements, but it's a nice lighter protein that's easy to digest. So when I do go to the gym, I'm not still trying to break down a steak or something that's slow to digest, the bioavailability isn't there. So I'll generally go for a lighter protein and fish is perfect for this. So I'll generally go for like a, like a, like a salmon, or I'll go for sardines, anything that has high, uh, lower mercury levels. I do not want mercury in my supplements or my food. And then you can have rice with that. I will generally go for a brown rice because it's got more fiber in it. It's got more micronutrients where white rice will give you a little bit more of an insulin spike and it's kind of bleached and it doesn't have any other micronutrient value. Generally, I would have some greens, I'll have greens or salad, leafy greens, kale, spinach, asparagus, cucumber, mushrooms, anything like that, just to ensure that I get plenty of fiber with the majority of my meals. Now, before bed, for instance, I like to have like grass-fed steak. Again, I don't, I don't want to have the farmed steak, um, you know, that's mass-produced because the antibiotics that can possibly be in it, and I'm gonna again get more healthy fats in a grass-fed steak. So I'll usually have that before bed because it's a nice slow release uh, type of protein. And some vegetables. Again, I try to look at the rainbow. So I have some bell peppers, I'll have some carrots maybe, uh, some mushrooms, broccoli, cauliflower, uh, tomatoes. I kind of mix it up just so I have an array of antibiotics, micronutrients, uh, and fiber. And then number four, whole eggs. Uh, if you're going through a muscle building phase, I do suggest whole eggs. Again, you're getting some good uh, fats in there. You're getting some good cholesterol, some good brain food. And uh, you know, I'll always go for humane raised eggs there. I don't go for the caged eggs, again, because the omega-6, they're gonna be fed um, a lot of omega-6 pro-inflammatory uh, foods, and they don't have the nutrients properties as what well, um, uh, free, uh, they don't have the nutrient properties as a humane, humane raised chicken. I've got a couple of my own chickens outside there so I can pretty much control their environment which controls mine. And then I usually have that with seaweed wraps. I do not have 
uh, bread that much. I don't have wraps or tortilla wraps or anything like that as much. So I use seaweed wraps. I'll put them in there, they're nice. And uh, then I'm making sure that I'm getting iodine, which feeds my thyroid, which as I said, I want to put on lean muscle tissue here. So that's the perfect way to kind of keep me lean and keep me clean. Number five, poultry. So when I say poultry, that could be chicken, it could be turkey. And that's usually going for the chicken or turkey breast if I'm not on a ketogenic diet. If I'm on a keto diet, then I'd go for thighs or you know wings and stuff like that because it doesn't matter if I get so much more fat in, which has more micronutrients, has more collagen in, etc. However, if I'm combining it with carbohydrates, then I will generally go for the chicken breast or the turkey breast for that leaner, cleaner tissue. And again, I try to go for humane raised when it comes to that. And then quinoa. Quinoa is a great form of carbohydrates. Uh, I like to soak them overnight, you know, because if they do set, take in a water or start to sprout, your body tends to absorb it that much easier. And then avocado. I love to have avocado. I try to go organic whenever possible. Uh, having this combination here gives me a nice, clean form of protein, carbohydrates, and fats. And uh, you know the Omega, again, threes in here, absolutely awesome. Now, lastly, this isn't a meal, but I try to have fermented foods every single day. Now, that could be kimchi, it could be sauerkraut, it could be miso soup. I supplement with probiotics as well. Um, goat's kefir is another thing like I like to have on a daily basis, because all these foods are fantastic, but if you're not absorbing them, they're not gonna be as helpful for you. So it's all about the synthesis, not what we eat, what we actually absorb. So I always try to look after my gut health. And I do that and I promote the gut health by staying away, with, staying away from the artificial colors, flavors, fast foods, trans fats, sugars, definitely eliminate sugars, but looking after my gut, which allows me to not feel as bloated, as sluggish. I assimilate the foods and I found that I'm able to eat much less of the volume or the amount of the food than I once did because now I'm synthesizing the food that much better. So hopefully these five muscle building meals that you should be eating will help you with your muscle building goals. And if you do like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe.